restaurant and you've navigated the wine list and picked a luscious bottle which promptly arrives at the table. Now what happens? I'm Laura Jensen with Wine Spectator and I'm here at Gramercy Tavern in New York City, which is a favorite destination for locals and tourists. Gramercy Tavern also happens to have Wine Spectator's Best of Award of Excellence. With me today is Juliet Pope, the beverage director of Gramercy Tavern, who oversees the wine list and wine service. And Jadlin Stahl, the sommelier, who's going to help us today. Welcome to Gramercy Tavern. Thank you. Gramercy Tavern and your sister restaurants, Union Square Cafe and Eleven Madison, are known for exemplary wine service. But customers play an important role, too. What are the key aspects to wine service that diners should know about? The main parts are bottle presentation, cork presentation, and actually tasting the wine. Let's start with bottle presentation. What does the sommelier do, and what should I look for? Well, the sommelier is going to present you with the bottle which you've ordered, and you just want to confirm that you are receiving the correct bottle. You want to look at the producer, the varietal, the vintage. Then you want to also take a look and make sure there are no signs of damage or improper storage. In this case, the bottle looks good, so you can give the sommelier the go-ahead. This is great. Thank you. What do I do with the cork? You expect to see a damp, stained end indicating proper storage. Experts disagree on the process of smelling the cork and what that tells you. In general, I don't put too much stock in it, but there is no harm in going through that step. What happens if the cork crumbles or breaks off in the bottle? Occasionally, the corkscrew might not have gone all the way into the cork, in which case you would expect that it might break off in the process. Nothing to worry about. Occasionally, a cork will be crumbly. It could be dry from age, possibly from improper storage. Something to take notice of, but in this case, if it were to happen, I would say ask the sommelier to take the bottle away, taste the wine, make sure that it's sound, and then strain out the bits of cork. And what happens if I order a bottle that has a screw cap or a glass stopper? In that case, the screw cap or glass stopper will be presented to you, and there's really nothing you need to look for there. Now we're ready to taste the wine. Oh, great. Normally, the sommelier would pour just for the person who ordered the bottle, but in this case, we'll do it together. Okay, the best part. Can I go ahead and taste it? Well, first, let's smell the wine. We're going to swirl the glass, which is a little easier to do if the glass is on the table. And then sniff. And what am I looking for? You're looking for the possibility of a corked bottle. In this case, you would get a very musty, almost wet, cardboard, damp basement smell that would indicate that the wine is flawed. In this case, the wine smells fine. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and taste. Okay. This is delicious. But what if I just don't like the wine? It will vary from restaurant to restaurant, but you should absolutely tell the sommelier right away. In Gramercy Tavern, if you don't like the wine, we will replace it with another bottle of your choice. No questions asked. Great. Shadlin, please pour the wine. Sometimes I've seen a sommelier taste the wine themselves to check that it's okay. What do you think about this? I think it's a really good idea. Here at Gramercy Tavern, we taste every bottle before it goes out to the table. I once had a wine that seemed okay when I opened it, but after a few minutes, I could tell that it was corked. How should I have handled this situation? You should let the sommelier know immediately. Oftentimes, flaws take time to reveal themselves in the glass. I have a few more questions. Should I refill my own glass, or should I expect the sommelier to do it for me? It really varies from restaurant to restaurant. Uh, here at Gramercy Tavern, you should expect that your server will refill the glass for you. Say I order a second bottle of the same wine. Should it be poured in the same glass, or would I get a new glass? As the taster, you should expect to have a new glass in which to taste the new bottle. Once you've approved it, we would normally pour that bottle of wine into the same glasses at the table. One last question. How much should I tip on wine? You would tip on the wine as you would for the rest of the meal. That's easy. Thank you so much, Juliet. I've learned so much about wine service. Let's order lunch.